we talk about a number of fatigue factors that stand in the way to corporate success. And I brought along a piece of paper here today as a demonstration. This strip of paper from a newspaper represents a well-aligned organization. And there are a couple of points I want to make right away. Everything on this sheet of paper is from the same page. Hey, everybody's on the same page. That's good. And there's good connectivity from top to bottom. In an organization that's trying to do research, you have the vision at the top, the senior management, the board, and you have throughout the organization people that are part of the innovation process. You have perhaps a product development group, a team of R&D scientists, the legal department, the patent review board, middle management. They all play a role in the innovation of the inside the corporation. In a well-aligned organization, a healthy organization, you have good communication from top to bottom. In fact, upper management has ways of being in contact with what's going on throughout the organization. It's not all just funneled from the top to the bottom. They have, they're part of communication loops where they can get access to what's really going on and, and hear the voice of the innovators throughout the community. That's very healthy. It's important to have that kind of connectivity to keep everybody aligned with the same vision, understanding what innovations are needed and why. And that kind of alignment can help drive meaningful innovation. Because if you don't have that kind of alignment, when disappointments come, when the cuts of reality snip away at your plans, your intended deliverables, if you don't have good connectivity throughout your organization, it can fall apart. However, if you are a well-aligned organization, you can keep healthy, strong, aligned, and intact. Because, you know, the reality is there's always going to be disappointing cuts in expectations. The sharp blades of reality have a way of doing that. Maybe it's your patent estate where you find that some of the claims you wanted to get don't stand up to prior art and have to be cut out from the, best, from the patent. If you've got a well-aligned organization, you can deal with that and use alternate forms of intellectual assets to help protect your estate and keep everybody on board, aligned, delivering. Well, it looks tricky, and to a degree it is. But some, of the, some of the principles we discuss in the book help cover these concepts of how you get this kind of alignment, how you keep that kind of communication, and how you have upper management listening to the voice of the innovators throughout the organization that brings about such alignment. Sadly, sometimes you have people in the organization that have a different angle on what needs to be done in terms of innovation. And when that happens, you can get things bent out of shape. In fact, if you're not aligned, you're skewed. Think about it, it's really true. This is a problem. This is a potential disaster. This can lead to symptoms such as not invented here, where one group has its own agenda, or one person has their own agenda and they want to do things in a different way, not aligned with the real objectives of the corporation. Fortunately, those who read the book will know how to deal with this and keep things intact, aligned, and resilient, because an aligned organization is a healthy, resilient organization when it comes to innovation. This is Jeff Lindsay for InnovationFatigue.com. Thank you.